Look at this dude. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. He needs some milk. No, please, no. Okay. <laughs> All right, now that y'all just see me do that whole intro of F Valentine or whatever the case may be, welcome to another video, Valentine edition. Well, right now it's not Valentine's, but the day that you see this video will be Valentine's. So happy Valentine's Day to everybody that celebrates Valentine's Day. I do celebrate Valentine's Day, but way before I did it, it was always F Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? So we had to we had to celebrate that, and definitely for the people that sit in there didn't bring no chocolate, didn't. Get no chocolate, oh. didn't give no flowers, didn't get no flowers. You know what I'm saying? We, we, I'm here with you. You know what I'm saying? Celebrate it with me. Come on, give me a hug. It's all right. <laughs> all jokes aside, man, I used to not like Valentine's Day for nothing. Nope. This same little story time that I'm about to give right now is the exact reason why why I hated Valentine's Day. Like, I had my reason to hate it. It was just so annoying. Everybody, Valentine's, receiving flowers, people getting kisses. I, I wouldn't even get a hug. You know what I'm like that, that really would kill my heart. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and give you a little story time of my Valentine's tragedy or, or whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? I was being a little simp, even though I was being a little hoe at the same time. I don't even know how that was working, but it was. Hopefully, this makes you feel better. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you, if you don't got nothing going on right now, hopefully, this makes you feel better. You know what I'm saying? Here, this is my gift from me to you. You know what I'm saying? Here, shit. I know we all had a bad time and wait, 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 some some type of romantic thinking majiggy going on in their life. Now, before we get started, you already know what to do, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If the button is red, you're doing something wrong. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. It's, it's free. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now, subscribe. Tell your dog. Tell grandma, tell your cousin, tell your sister, tell your dad. Yeah, just just tell everybody. You know what I'm saying? Tell everybody. And if you're already subscribed, thank you for the support. You feel me? I greatly, greatly appreciate and love each and every one of y'all. Now let's go ahead and hop into this little story time of the time I may have gotten my heart broken. Now I ain't gonna lie, we all know that I've always been a little, a little, a little hoe. What? You know what I'm not a hoe. Let's not hold on. I don't like that word. Wait, but more of like a. Bruh. Pimp? Maybe let's say pimp. More of like a living Ooh. life. You know what I'm saying? More of like a. I was being a teen. More of like a. I had plenty of like, you know, little crushes, little girl girls here and there. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I never really took the chance to really stick oh. to one. I don't know. That was just me. I was just having fun. You know what I'm saying? I was having fun meeting people at parties and stuff. You feel me? So, I kind of took it upon myself. Ooh, big word. Ooh. Uh, to just, you know, <laughs> have a little fun. You know what I'm saying? Have a little stick. No, no, I was not. Nigga. I was not. Look at you. Look at you. The strap. The strap is in the butt bag. Don't do that. But for some reason, you know what I'm saying? We all got that one girl or that one guy that you you just changed for. All of a sudden, you just changed for the person. You know? That never really happened with me. I was just, I was always dead. You feel me? I was always, you know, flirting with people here and there. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't even that much flirting. You know what I'm saying? Stop. Like, <laughs> don't flirt with nope. me. Like, it wasn't even me for real. Stop. No, all seriousness. And sometimes it wasn't even me. Like, for real. It was really some of the girls that would just come up on me. They wanted some of the juice, so I gave her some. You feel me? But yeah, I don't know. She she just caught my eye. I was like, boom, you look a little different. I'm not going to say any names. If you watch my story time before, you already know we don't say no names up in here. But we're going to give her a fake name. We're going to give her the name of Kim. You know what I'm saying? We're going to give it Kim. Kim was a girl that, mind you, this is all in middle school. She wasn't like the popular stuck up. Well, at least I didn't think she was. Right, Kim? Bruh. She was one of those girls that thought there was too much for you. You know what I'm saying? Thought there was, you know, too up. But see, the thing about that was, I was up there with her. You feel me? In middle school, I was always kind of like the known kid, the kind of popular kid. I was just cool with everybody. Teachers, staff, everything. Everybody, to this day, it's still the same thing. Me and this girl start talking near the summer. <laughs> Y'all already know how this goes. Me and my little summertime, summertime antic. We would text all night, be on FaceTime. Shit, we ended up starting sleeping on the phone. Like, you know how that goes. You know you know how the sleeping on the phone goes. All of a sudden, this so-called girl that was so popular and known at her school and everybody liked her. And she was Snapchat famous. Snapchat Bruh. famous. Like, everybody knew her off a of Snapchat thing. Um, Now I don't 
really see that as such a wow amazing thing. When you, I'll say immature, you look at a girl's body, I guess if she's famous or if she's just known or whatever the case may be, you look at more of that than personality. And to be honest now, I, I don't care how you look or whatever it is, if I like you, I like you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, let me find out oh. a little song about you, Shawty, you feel me? Like, you gonna be mine type shit, you feel me? And that ended up happening. She ended up telling me she had feelings for me and all this, all that. I wouldn't even contact my other friends because I was just on the phone with her. I stopped going to functions at the time because I would go with her. <laughs> like, this girl ends up telling me she really likes me, da 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 da. I'm over here like, okay, I'ma just, you know what I'm saying? I'ma just make it official, you feel me? Now I ain't gonna lie to ya. I ain't gonna lie. Keep it between me and you. I was low key trying to. F I was, I was trying to get in there. Oh my god. We ain't gonna talk about that. We ain't gonna talk about Fast that. Fast forward to uh, Valentine's Day. <gasps> In middle school, I ain't really have it like that. You feel what I'm saying? I wasn't really pushing P. I ain't have bread. I ain't have the newest iPhone. I ain't gonna lie. I'll have like, you know, new shoes here and there. But I wasn't one of these kids that will get that like every day or like will really come with the newest iPhone 12. I had a whole answer. You feel what I'm saying? When I would take bread from my mom's or whatever the case may be, it would be from the heart. You know what I'm saying? It would, it would really be from the heart. I done bought this girl chocolate teddy bear flower. Me planning on asking her out on Valentine's Day because she literally literally texted me saying that she wanted that to happen. Now with the pure heart of Dez, right? Me thinking, mm -hmm, okay, maybe this will work. You know what I'm saying? Have a future, have babies, you know what I'm saying? Be living life in LA or something. Nope. I'm like, all right, I'm a gopher. Ah, when I tell y'all, I regret this with my whole entire life. I ended up meeting her at a park. I don't remember what park. I didn't even travel that much in buses and stuff. And I went and took a whole oh. bus to go to this park that she was at with her friends. Number one mistake I did. Do not, I repeat, do not do something in front of her Ooh. friends. You know why? Let me tell you why. You ever seen a boy or a girl act different around you because they with their friends? That's why. You feel what I'm saying? So me being who I am, I took that bus. I took all the stuff that I bought with me to her and I went like a like a like a like a very mature person and asked her out in person. This is literally how it went. All her friends are sitting down on the bench. She's sitting down on the bench. I'm walking over with the whole stuff on me. All her friends are there like oh oh my god no oh my god no oh my god no way oh my god it's happening oh my god i'm nervous as shit right because i'm i'm a whole middle schooler walking up to some girl i barely even i ain't even tell my mom i was gay at that time and i'm over here about to ask her out taking bread out my pocket to ask her out to then this happen so so yeah um i just uh i just feel Aww. like i love you and I feel like we should be together. So, so would you be my girlfriend? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wait, um, I don't think. When, when did we ever agree to this Bruh. again? Like, I don't, I don't remember that. Now, remember when you texted me and you was like, you know that you like wanted a date or whatever. Like, I'm doing it. You feel what I'm saying? I just, I just I'm just asking if you want to be my girlfriend. Nope. Can we just talk about it Ooh. later, girl? No, relax. Can we just talk about it later? I mean, yeah, we can. But like, you want to like, you saying yes? No, no nigga. Like, what's what's going on? I don't want to date you. I don't. I think oh, maybe this is like my a God. understanding or something. But wait, but you literally texting me saying how you going? Wait, but you texting me. I got, I got the receipts. Like, I, you texting me saying that. How you gonna tell me you don't wanna, like, what? Yeah, no. I don't, I don't think this will be a thing. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so you just you just made me do all this in front of your little friends and everything for you to just I right, bet boom the flowers and I literally boomed the whole teddy bear at her. After I boomed the teddy bear, I threw the flowers on the floor. I stepped on oh, them and the chocolates. I took them with me and I started eating them on Ooh. the way home. When I tell y'all, that was the most embarrassing thing I've ever went through. Like, and it's crazy because her friends were that excited. Like, if your friends are excited, why? Like, why? How you even got the heart to do that? Like, how you even? After you knew I was a pimp, to this day, I still feel like she just wanted me to get out that pimp stage to kind of like flex on me. I, I I took her out that stage. I made her ask me out, but I said no. Like, you think you cool for that? You really thought you ate? Like, no, give me that plate. For real though, that gave me trust issues like really bad because any other time i'll talk to any other girl i really tell them off the bat do not i repeat do not waste my time do not do, don't do it don't don't do it you wasting my time and my money like 
What you doing? Lesson of the day is don't go by what you picture a person to be, but what they actually are. You feel what I'm saying? But I sat here and tried to picture her the way I wanted her to be. And like, you feel me? That just went left. If you're not doing something for today, man, make sure you go show love to yourself. Show love to somebody near you. You feel what I'm saying? It don't, it don't, it don't gotta be a soulmate. It could be your parents. It could be yourself. Just show love to yourself in general. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all already know what we jack out here. What we jack? What we jack? What we jack? Oh my God. Oh. He needs some milk. Please, no. No. No.